This is a video guide to creating your cauliflower from the Alexandra's Garden Vegetables book, or the kit is also available separately. Uh, now, this is one of my favourite designs. It really makes me um, crack up every time um, I see him, but it is, despite its texture, it is actually really easy. We're going to be using chain stitch to create this lovely texture on top. Um, so what you need to do first is actually stuff the shape. So you'll have made a big hollow ball like this and what you need to do is actually stuff it and a word of warning you will need plenty of stuffing um, in order to do so So once you've gathered the stitches like that, what you then want to do with your leaves is sew those into place. So you've created the leaves individually. We're going to position those around the edge of this circle. And that's why we put that color change in is so that it's a nice guide. So leave yourself a nice long end on the leaf. And then positioning that on the bottom. Sew it into place. In order to fit all six leaves on the bottom, all you need to make sure of when you're putting them in place is that you're using up about six stitches um, underneath each leaf. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. So leaving yourself a long end, because that's what you'll be able to sew it on with. Chain the number stated in the pattern. And then what you're going to do is work down that chain. So you just turn and you're going to work into the stitches here. So we're going to follow the pattern. You're going to need a combination of different stitches. So you're going to be using a double crochet, a half treble, a treble, double trebles, triple trebles and actually quad trebles. And once you've reached one end of it, what you need to do is turn and then double crochet back up those stitches that you've just done. Turn again and do exactly as we're doing on the side double crochet back up that edge to the tip. And when you break the yarn, leave a long length on because that'll be the one that I used before to sew the leaf back on. You can obviously sew from either end, um, from the base or from the tip, but I find it easier to sew from the tip and down. So the six leaves are in place and now what I'm actually going to do is sew the eyes on and um, the limbs on before we put the fleece on. That'll be a bit easier because then you can avoid those points when you're working those onto the top. 
So in terms of working his face, where I'm going to put the eyes, if we use this one for comparison, is about here on the body. So I've got two leaves on the front. It doesn't really matter. There isn't a right side and a wrong side. Just look round yours. All your leaves should have created slightly different shapes as you've sewn them on, which is obviously really nice and really organic. Um, I'd go for two on the front should look um, nicest, but it doesn't really matter which two you choose before you decide to put your eyes in position. So I'm going to go for these two here. And then what I want to do is just, even though you're doing it cream on cream, so you won't really see this, but doing the triangle will give you a nice guide to put in the black into the centre. So go put that in and then across. To put your second eye in like that. And your black. And all I would say is make sure you're really happy with the placement of these eyes before you start to put the um, fluffy bits on because um, you can then avoid putting the fluffy bits over the top of the eyes. So it will actually be harder to move the eyes in future. So just make sure you're really happy with where those eyes are before you start adding the um, chain stitches on the top. So that's the face on that I'm going to work to. Putting the limbs on. Now this is one that I've put both legs and arms on mine. I think it's because um, I like to think of this one as wanting to give you a bit of a cuddle. Uh, so he's going to need need arms in order to do that. So what you've got is two quite short legs on this design. Make sure you put a bit of stuffing into the bottom. And to get the best effect with the legs really is you want them to appear quite short. We're going to sew them flat. And what that means is you've got this bulbous bit at the top and you've got the, so all you're increasing um, and your shaping is here on the front. You want to sew them flat so that the foot is protruding forward. So it flat across the top like that. And then turn your cauliflower up and pop those onto the bottom. Now you can obviously keep putting them forward to make sure they come forward of the main body. So our legs are sewn flat to the body. And obviously you can just leave it just with the legs if you want to. But if you want to add the arms, as I have done on the original one in the book, um, and there is obviously plenty arm within your kit in order to add the arms on, what we want to do here is sew them perpendicular. So um, if you think about your foot, when we sew it flat, we have the bulbous piece pacing forward and we sew the back flat like that. To sew them perpendicular, fold it the other way. And this means it will sit um, nicely on the side of the body. So sew the end close perpendicular. And then where I've put them is I've put them on the top of the two leaves. So you've got your two leaves in the centre and I've put them on the top of the leaves that come next. So you can almost cover the tip of the foliage up by putting the arm on the side like that. You could even join it on to the leaf with a couple of stitches like that. So it looks like an extension of the leaf. Make sure that's lovely and secure. Right, so with all the structure in place, now it's time for the finishing touch, which is adding the fluffy onto the top of it so that your cauliflower transforms from this into this lovely texture here. So you are going to need your crochet hook for that and you are going to need your um, cream yarn as well. And you are doing chain loops on top. So go in. One, two, three, four, five. That's all you're doing is five chains and then going back into the body of your cauliflower. 
approximately two stitches and two rows away from where you came out. Now to get the best effect, two, three, four, five, what you need to do is move round randomly. Don't, um, don't try and approach it by going in one direction in a spiral. You'll actually get something um, that isn't as effective as just working randomly. Two, three, four, five. So all you're going to do is jump around. This is a long job, um, but not a job where you have to pay too much attention. So it's a great one for watching TV. One, two, three, four, five. So just jump around on the top of the body of the cauliflower. Um, adding all those loops on to create this texture. Now, you could have done all of that before putting your leaves into position if you want to. So that really is up to you. Um, it just is a little bit easier to sew up with regards to putting bits on like the arms if you haven't got the loops, and then you just work them all the way around the outside of the leaves. But if you've covered yours in chain loops first and then you add the leaves on, that will also work. And that is absolutely how this one is done. So these two are done in a slightly different way. And um, this first one has the chain loops underneath and then you sew the leaves on top. Whereas um, as an alternative, this one, you can just put your um, chain loops in between your leaves once they're in position. That choice is yours. Um, so now just sit back, relax and carry on adding your chain loops on until your cauliflower is complete. <laughs> 